Hello, uh, Mayor Weiss here. Today's an important day, uh, June 19th. Uh, on that day, uh, we honor uh, Juneteenth, the day we commemorate uh, the end of slavery in America. This day provides us an opportunity uh, to reflect on this important uh, moment in our history and also as a reminder that we have much work to do, which is a good segue into the continuing local and national discussion uh, we are having regarding racial uh, equity and justice. Um, we have created a number of action steps that we are pursuing uh, as a result of the conversations that we've had with residents and uh, community organizations, as well as the commitments and pledges uh, that I have made personally, uh, as well uh, as Council has made uh, through its uh, recent resolution that had passed. So I wanted to touch on a couple of those items. First, uh, in the category of enhanced transparency, um, many of you uh, asked and we uh, were responsive uh, to providing information uh, requested relating to our uh, police department. We've updated uh, the web page to include uh, detailed information on a wide range of topics including uh, accreditation, recruiting and hiring, uh, training including biased uh, free uh, policing and de-escalation techniques, um, information relating to community engagement and links to various policies and procedures. We believe that this enhanced transparency will provide a good foundation for our continuing uh, community discussions. On that note, um, uh, I wanted to mention that uh, the administration and council actually had begun uh, pursuing equity training at the end of last year and the beginning of this year. Uh, leading up to, unfortunately, the pandemic, which caused us to pause, but we are now re-engaged uh, in that process that we expect to expand uh, beyond um, council and the management team um, to um, uh, all, all staff. Uh, we're also in the early stages of creating an advisory group made up of uh, primarily residents, um, diverse and inclusive, um, that will provide um, and help guide our community conversations on a wide range of, of issues relating to health, or to race and um, equity, uh, including community policing, housing, health, and uh, community involvement, uh, and more. And of course, most importantly, we will continue to listen and to learn uh, from um, uh, each of you. Um, we know uh, how active and passionate this community is about these issues, and uh, we look forward to continuing that engagement. So in honor of Juneteenth, uh, I wanted to mention two resources that we thought you might find helpful. Uh, first, uh, tonight uh, there's a performance uh, sponsored by Caramu House. Uh, it's a theatrical production um, involving music, dance, and the spoken word that we thought uh, you, you might like to listen into. And then, of course, there's the National uh, Museum of African American History and Culture that has a vast collection of resources um, uh, relating to topics including race and equity. So with that, um, uh, I look forward to continuing our work together, and uh, I hope uh, that you remain well. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you soon.